The Biggest Lie About Food. Now, from a very early age, we've all been taught that saturated fat and cholesterol is really bad for our hearts. So in fact, it's going to kill us, right? So when you eat lard, red meat, butter, it's going to clog your arteries. But actually, what is cholesterol? What's saturated fat? It's very confusing. Are they the same? Are they different? I'm going to make this so simple for you. First, let's just cover cholesterol. What is it? It's a type of fat that your liver makes. And the reason why your liver makes this type of fat is to make cell membranes, the stuff around your cells. It's to help make hormones. It's to help make even vitamin D. You can't make vitamin D without cholesterol. So now let's tackle saturated fat. Very simply, it's a type of fat that will stay solid at room temperature versus another type of fat, which is liquid at room temperature, and that's called unsaturated fat. For example, if we take coconut oil, right, and we compare that to lard, both of them are solid at room temperature. Both of them have saturated fat. And interestingly enough, coconut oil has 87% saturated fat compared to lard, which only has 47, not even 50% of it is saturated fat. Out of all the different types of saturated fat, the one that has the biggest so-called bad influence on your cholesterol is something called myristic acid. Myristic acid has been studied and found that it can increase your bad cholesterol. Myristic acid by itself is very high in coconut oil, but only 2% of the saturated fat in red meat is this myristic acid. So tell me why saturated fat is bad if it's in coconut oil. If we have two concepts, one is that consuming cholesterol increases your cholesterol. The truth about that is it has a very, very small impact, if anything. Most of the cholesterol is made by your body. And people have the confusion that the cholesterol is coming in the body and creating a problem. If we're saying that cholesterol is the worst thing to eat, then why does your body make 80%? Is it trying to kill you? No, it's trying to help you. It's trying to get you to survive. If your body makes 80% of your cholesterol, if you add a little bit more, guess what? Your body makes less. There's a little bit of a thermostat there adjusting. If you eat more, it makes less. If you eat less, it makes a little bit more. But if you eat sugar, that will definitely increase your cholesterol. If you're eating all the sugar, the average person consumes way too much. So the motor can't handle it. So it has to put it in storage. So it starts to convert it as fat and cholesterol. So again, you've been told a lie that these foods are bad. It's okay to consume steak, lard, butter. There's not much of a difference between those and coconut oil. So now that we've covered the greatest lie, let's talk about the biggest truth. Cholesterol only becomes bad when you combine it with sugar, smoking, trans fats, seed oils. One of the problems with these is how they're made. They go through an industrial assembly line of chemical solvents like hexane, that's in gasoline. And this is highly inflammatory oil. So when you combine all these things with cholesterol, as this rusting effect starts creating holes, just like a car, is your body has to heal it. So it's going to heal it with various things, cholesterol, calcium, protein. And that's basically your body's way of putting together a Band-Aid. The problem with that is it clogs the artery. So it's funny that uh, people think that cholesterol is bad because it makes a part of your Band-Aid, but they don't consider protein bad. They don't consider calcium bad. And that's really what we should be teaching people.